one. Go. Okay, number three. Um, what kind of media institution might distribute my media product and why? Um, I decided to choose IPC Media to do my to distribute my product uh, because the company is well known and it's large. Um, produces magazines like Enemy, and Look, and Marie Claire. Um, I decided to publish my magazine across five platforms, including print copies and tablets and e-readers, uh, and have like smartphone app scanning and have online websites. Um, I've decided that we most like to find print copies in news agents and supermarkets, and if my targets like 18 years young adults, they're going to be in those places a lot. Um, and with technology, a lot of people are going to be on websites and tablets and e-readers, and most people, a lot of people have smartphones, so having scanning is a really good way to distribute my product. Mm -hmm. My chosen audience is a uh, young adult, female and reform audience. This is because it's a very heavily technology based audience. Um, and as well as this, there'd be an online interactive activities and that would appeal to a younger generation. Mm -hmm. um, Can I ask you about, uh, you said it was on five different platforms. Yeah. Why did you go for five different platforms rather than just one platform? Um, because a lot of people like, a lot of people still like to buy physical copies and want to support physical copies rather than internet and then there's more people who don't have time to go shopping for magazines and they'd rather just get up on their phone okay. um, so I've tried to tailor it to everyone who would want something. So it's sort of exposed to more people really. Yeah. And would you have the same content on all those different platforms or would they be different in any way? Um, well because it's all free I, it would all uh, be available to everyone but like on the website and the apps and stuff there's interactivity so technically you'd get more benefits online okay because um, you could subscribe to things and stuff like that if you were putting all of the content that was in your magazine on a website and that was free how would you make money from that um well you could have like inter uh, purchases and there's going to be links to other things in there okay so great thank you Uh, who would be the audience for my media product? Uh, I feel like my audience would fit into any of the socio-economic groups as it's a magazine that would appeal to um, a range of people. However, I think it would appeal to more people lower down the social grade because um, it is a very unique magazine. And again, they're female young adult performers. Um, I chose this audience because it's something I'd be interested in. Um, and I think there's a gap in the market for it, as it's unique and non-mainstream. And when I did outside research, I found that from Vogue, they said that more, there's more women than men who are page turners in like magazines. So I decided, I thought if that's um, from actual information, then I can put that into mine and have that sort of guided towards my female audience. So because women read more magazines, I yeah. suggest we're yeah. okay. Great. And it'd then be able to e make it easier for me to target females as well. Mm -hmm. um, I feel as though I do fit in to this audience um, and I feel like I want to stray away from everything that's mainstream and due to this I'm more likely to be related to it. Um, it is unique and there, I think there is a gap in the market for like a magazine like mine mm -hmm. um, and I know that I'd be interested and in, from doing research with my survey I know that other people would be interested in a magazine like this. Did you find it easier to make decisions about your magazine being a member of your own target audience? Um, I found it easy in the sense that I knew what I knew my vision was clear of what I wanted it to look like um, but I think trying to please everyone is what made it harder. Okay yeah Great. And your third one? Okay. Uh, what have I learned from about technologies from the process of constructing this project? Uh, during the creation of my magazine, I've learned a huge range of skills which have really helped me to create uh, my finished product. And I use platforms like WordPress, Photoshop, InDesign, um, PowerPoint, and SurveyMonkey. 
Uh, in Photoshop and InDesign, I learned a variety of skills, ranging from simple ones, just like uh, resizing images, um, to using more advanced techniques like exporting images, etc. And although it wasn't my first time using Photoshop, um, as I've used it before in my like, own free time, I felt that I was always learning new skills towards it. Um, I used WordPress to upload all my work, and this also made it easier for me to look at my work collectively. Uh, this also improved my written language skills, um, as I was using more te technical key terms I hadn't heard of before. Um, and I have a personal blog as well, so I can now apply the skills that I've learned here in my personal blog at home. Uh, I think for in the magazine industry now, I think technology is huge, not only for like appearance and making magazines look better, but for advertising and um, distributing the product, because now there's things like Twitter and blogs and sharing and stuff like that, so I think you can spread your, you can like advertise it better for different platforms, which you couldn't have done possibly like 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and if I were to give advice to others, I'd say keep saving your work like every five to ten minutes because you never know what might happen and it might, it's the worst feeling knowing that you've lost all your work that you've done. Um, and I'd also say try not to stress out and keep calm otherwise everything goes slower and it gets frustrating. Um, take time to plan in advance and pay attention to the detail and don't rush everything and leave everything to last minute. Mm -hmm. um, and then listen to feedback from others because uh, what you think might look amazing could not look as good and vice versa and listen to what others have to say okay. as well. Can I ask you out of all the technologies that you used which, which do you think was the most important or the most sort of key to making your products? Uh, Photoshop. Okay. Why is that? I found the tools the most useful out of everything that I needed to make my magazine look like it does. Um, magazine, the Photoshop gave me the best results for that. Okay, great. Thank you very much.